In this video, I will discuss the Detroit 60 series versus the DD15. I will break it down in three different categories, performance, reliability, and cost for repairs. So if you're currently in the market for a semi and cannot decide which engine to choose from, this video is for you. With most of the world interested in greener energy, manufacturers look for ways to still provide for customer demands and meet EPA standards. In this case, this has accelerated innovation. And just like manufacturers in the past, forced innovation can sometimes be a good thing. Hello, I'm Adam with TAT Express, and I'm an ASC certified heavy duty diesel technician with experiences on all platforms. We specialize on class eight on highway engines. And on this channel, we go over everything about semi trucks from repairs, maintenance to truck and industry updates. If this is the content you're interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Here at TAT Express, we are professionals built on integrity who strive for excellence. If you are interested in joining, you can apply online at tatexpressinc.com. Check out our careers page. If you'd like to schedule an appointment for service, you can call us at 972-225-3017. We are located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas, 75241. Let's get right into this video. The first category is performance. The 60 series 14 liter has a compression ratio of 17 to one with a 160 millimeter bore and 168 millimeter stroke, which produce 515 horsepower with 1,850 foot pounds of torque. Its dry weight is 2,557 pounds. The 60 series fuel delivery pressure was around 60 to 70 PSI. High fuel pressure was achieved by internal injection solenoids, injector plunger, and the downward force of the injector rocker arm. If equipped, some 60 series came with a turbo actuator. After treatment systems on 60 series were not reliable and saw many issues, mainly because it was Detroit's first introduction into the after treatment systems. The DD-15 was designed in 2009 and since then they have made significant improvements. DD-15 Gen 5 is 505 horsepower with 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. It has a 14.8 liter displacement and a ultra high 21 to one compression ratio. Its bore is 139 millimeter and a stroke of 163 millimeter. It has a cylinder combustion pressure of 3,625 PSI. It has a fixed style turbo instead of an actuator control to help give peak torque faster with limited turbo lag. It is equipped with a swirl style piston and a redesigned valve ports combined with 11,000 PSI common rail fuel system. Its dry weight is 2,900 pounds. Normal oil pressure at 600 RPMs reads 17 PSI and 50 PSI at 2,300 RPMs. The DD-15 has a broader available torque range over 1,550 foot-pounds beginning at 900 to 1,500 RPMs. And the 60 series has a peak torque from 1,200 to 1,500 RPMs. What does this mean exactly? This means that the DD-15 will have less turbo lag since peak torque is available at such a low RPM. The 60 series peak torque is not achieved until 1,200 RPM. The next category I want to discuss is reliability. The 60 series pre-emission had fewer issues, making it more reliable. With the later models, Detroit's backward design approach caused the 60 series to become less and less reliable. Of course, tunes may help, but keep in mind, the higher the horsepower and duty cycle, the more wear factors may occur. In addition, questionable quality parts can make it more challenging to repair. The DD-15 did not earn its reliability till after 2017 production models. The early model DD-15s were very problematic and unreliable. 2010, Daimler created a company focused on after treatment systems called Bluetech. Bluetech's after treatment systems were the number one cause of downtime when introduced. Decades of data have helped Bluetech improve its after treatment systems, making it more of a reliable after treatment system with year models 2017 and later. Currently, Bluetech is leading the industry with a reliable after treatment solution. The last category I want to discuss is cost of repairs. The cost of any work in our current market condition can be costly for any platform. 
Shortage in some quality parts has made it expensive to service any engine. Whether you own a 60 series or a DD15, having a maintenance budget is best practice. With the DD15, the after treatment maintenance will increase the cost of repairs. So budgeting for more repairs would be best practice. However, Bluetech's after treatment systems tend to be more problematic until the later models. In addition, cheaper parts for a 60 series do not mean it's a quality part. Well guys, I hope this video was informative if you're looking to purchase a DD15 or a 60 series. Remember, maintenance is vital and how we treat our engine will directly impact their longevity and reliability. If you would like to share your experience, leave it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to schedule an appointment here at TAT Express, you can call us at 972 225-3017. We are located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas 75241. Guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, be safe.